Hello everyone and welcome to Keep Calm and Homeschool On. My name is Ashley. I thank you very much for watching this. Um, I wanted to bring you a quick thrift store find that we found yesterday. Um, real quick though, I wanted to apologize for my lack of videos lately. Um, I've been working on our classroom rearranging and getting the centers set up exactly how I want so that I can do a homeschool room tour and right in the middle of all of that I got the flu and the bronchitis gunk that seems to be going around and so I've been sick for four and a half weeks now so I'm finally feeling a little bit better I'm sure you can tell by my voice I'm still not 100% by any means but um so if I cough during this excuse me also, I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I'm going to try to do better. I've got a couple other videos coming up real soon, so be on the lookout for those. So, first off, um, if you have watched my videos before, you know that there's a thrift store here in our town that we frequent quite often. Um, we um, went there yesterday and, <coughs> excuse me, got up to the front with our purchases and the really sweet lady that's usually there um, was behind the counter and she said if um, do you want books in this level like this particular level and I said yeah that would be great and she said we have some more back here so I went to look at them and she said well any of them you don't want if you guys would put over on the shelf along with some toys and stuff then I'll give you a discount on your books and I was like well fantastic anything to save a buck so my children and I did that we got back up to the front and she said well you worked for your books so they're free so all these books were technically free. I did, however, pay a $3 donation because I just didn't feel right just taking the books. But either way, so this is what we worked for. This is our find. We're very excited. So, uh, start with the best thing first. So, we got Skippo cards. My kids actually played this the day before yesterday. We play Skippo all the time. We have a board and we all set up um, and play. Skippo brings back very fond memories. Um, my grandma and I used to sit down at her house until 2 or 3 in the morning playing Skippo and listening to Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash. And she had her board with a deck of cards plus two more decks just like this. Hence why we played until 2 or 3 in the morning. So I got another one to add to our already existing deck. So this will be really exciting to play long witted games with the kiddos. Okay, right here we have... The United States Atlas for people, for young people, excuse me. Obviously, it's for people, I suppose. Um, it just tells a little bit about each state and just some monuments or fun things to do. <coughs> it tells where all the rivers and lakes and mountain ranges or whatever are. I thought this was kind of a neat little add to to our um, geography center. So one reason I really like watching the thrift or the um, videos like this, hauls and all those things on YouTube is a lot of the times I'll get on there and when it, right in the middle of a video and pause it and go to Amazon and <laughs> add whatever cool thing it is to cart. And so I really like watching these. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching them also. So, okay, we also have Antonio's Apprenticeship. <clears throat> I just thought this had some really beautiful illustration and it would just be a fun thing to add to our fun Friday and we now have a fun Friday basket which is one of the videos that I want to share with you guys so stay tuned for that okay we have this book it's from um, Greenleaf and I was looking it's a nursery that's uh, in Oklahoma Texas and North Carolina but anyways it's a good one to add to our nature study it's just a bunch of different flowers and some bushes and trees but it tells all about them all about um well they need to grow what you can expect pictures it's kind of a cool thing to add to our nature study basket so, okay we have these my daughter um this year is studying animals. She doesn't care what kind of animal. She doesn't care what she learns. She just wants to learn about animals. So we got this one. Level 3 reader on reptiles. <coughs> she also picked up this science book. 
and we have a couple other Merrill Science books just like this. They get used quite often. This one, however, it was adorable. It's a little easy for her. I'm guessing maybe first grade. I don't know. She's in third grade. I'm guessing maybe this is for first grade. But either way, she asked if she could still read it. I said absolutely. So <laughs> it's just fun for her to read. Okay, we got this flash forward math, uh, grade six. My son is in fifth grade this year. Um, the first couple of page were, pages were used up, but I already ripped those out. But it'll just be a fun little add-in. Um, <clears throat> all the colorful worksheets and just something fun for him to have. Okay, now to my favorite part, the books. I brought these all home and my husband told me that Instead of having a classroom upstairs, we're going to have a library. And I said that was indeed my life goal. I want to be just like Beauty from Beauty and the Beast and would love to have an upstairs library. So one of these days, one of these days. Okay, so first off, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And we also have Prince Caspian. Um, so we just have books one and four, but that's okay. It's two less that... I have to purchase, so fantastic. We have the story of Sacagawea, a guide to Lewis and Clark. And I've already marked them um, with our grade level or level markers um, for each grade. I have a library video about that if you guys would like to see how we do that. Okay, we have Squanto, friends of, friend of the Pilgrims. Skin for my daughter, Dog Diaries. We have Dog Song. Oh, Moby Dick. We have this one, which I was very excited about. Um, I also have my morning basket videos coming up, and one of them is our October <laughs> morning basket. I realize that's a little bit late, but you know. Um, anyways, but every year we read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and so I just thought this was really cool to add a little bit extra. It's like a little thin picture book that we read and so this one I just thought would be fun to add to our basket with Rip Van Winkle as well <clears throat> okay and then I scored in the Beverly Cleary books so we have Ellen Tebbets, Henry Huggins, Ramona Forever which my daughter informed me we already have this one but can't have enough Ramona and so maybe we'll do this as a read aloud each have a book and then we have Ramona and her father. So those are our glorious finds. Once again, I absolutely love that store and it's so much fun to go in there. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I promise more videos to come. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.